can pycnogenol help with blood pressure, controlling blood pressure? And then I understand that with high blood pressure, there can be resulting kidney damage. How does that all interrelate? Well, interesting question because it's, it's, it's sort of the chicken and the egg theory okay. with, with kidney damage because, and blood pressure. All right. Because kidney damage can cause high blood pressure. High blood pressure can cause kidney damage. Oh, I see. All right. um, and because they all they work because the kidneys are very important organs in terms of blood pressure control. All right. Um, and pycnogenol absolutely can work. Pycnogenol works in two ways in this situation. Right. Uh, we'll start with the kidneys first. And how pycnogenol works to support kidney health mm -hmm. is that it works in microcirculation. So it works in a very small blood vessels. And kidneys are almost an end organ, we call it, because it's sort of one of the last places where the uh, blood vessels go to. And when that happens, you get the blood vessels go from the large aorta. And All as right. they go out, they just get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, okay. So it gets down to the capillary levels, and that's what feeds, that's what feeds the kidneys. So when you have, and those are going to be the first ones that go because they're the smallest. So All the right. smallest blood vessels are going to be the ones that get, that suffer from oxidative stress, that suffer from, from inflammation, that suffer from damages, that sort of thing. So that's why you can get blood pressure problems from that. Pycnogenol works on that microcirculation. All right. So it helps to keep those little tiny capillaries open. Mm. So it's really, so that's why it can help support kidney health. Mm -hmm. And then with blood pressure, keeping your kidneys healthy are going to keep your blood pressure in a healthy range. Now, there's other causes for blood pressure. All right. And the way pycnogenol works in that situation mm -hmm. is by helping to keep our blood vessels patent or open. Because... Pycnog what is the term? Patent. Okay. It's just another, you know, to keep of course, our fancy medical word for open. Oh, and of course, we, <laughs> yeah, we have to have our fancy words so you think we're smart. And, um, so they keep the blood vessels open, and they do that by using collagen and elastin. Okay. And collagen and elastin lines every blood vessel that we have. And the collagen and elastin breaks down as we get older. And the way to know that is to look at basically your face and mm -hmm. to look at your wrinkles and that sort of thing. And you know that, that the collagen... Tells you What's That's going a, on inside your of body? Of course. Everything okay. external, I believe, is a reflection mm -hmm. of what's going on internally. Okay. And that's why I always treat patients both from the outside in and the inside out. Mm -hmm. And um, when you're looking at, at collagen, you, you've got to look at that's what's helping the blood vessels to expand and contract, expand and contract. And when you have a healthy um, uh, blood vessel, that's mm -hmm. what it'll do. And that's how pycnogenol supports healthy blood pressure by supporting the collagen and the elastin, by getting it to be doing its job, by helping it not to break down, mm -hmm. and then therefore, it'll keep those blood vessels working. And that's what keeps blood pressure working. It's not salt, I mean, there's very few people that, I mean, right. I think it's less than 5% of the population that are salt sensitive when really? it comes to less hypertension. Than 5%? Yes, it's less than 5%. Huh. I know, it's one of those things. It's just like, don't eat too many eggs, it'll give you cholesterol. Exactly. Yeah, it's another one of those urban myths. An urban myth, well put, yes. <laughs> so, it's, they work together. You keep the capillaries open, the very small capillaries, right, to the kidneys. They're the tiniest blood vessels. So, you keep, so pycnogenol will work on microcirculation. Mm -hmm. So, that's the capillaries. So, it helps keep them open. So, it'll keep the kidneys functioning well, because mm -hmm. that's where a lot, of, a lot of pharmaceutical medications work specifically in the kidney. Oh. on blood pressure, angiotensin receptor selective blockaders. Mm -hmm. Those work specifically in the kidneys because that's where angiotensin is released. So when you have something like pycnogenol, which is a natural substance mm -hmm. from pine tree bark, which is great. I mean, I love the fact that it's from this pine tree of And that of all you're impressed things. by that as a physician. I like that too. <laughs> well, it's really great. I mean, come on. It's so nice to be able to just find natural products, And the right? research is there and, and it's 40 amazing. years of research. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. And they keep coming up with new research, which is great. Mm -hmm. So I love them as, and I, I love to support companies that do that. And so, you have pycnogenol, works on the microcirculation, so it gets those capillaries to stay open, keeps your kidneys functioning well. Perfect. You're not going to be on dialysis, you don't have mm -hmm. to worry about good things news, like that. Good news. And then 
you've also got it working on your larger vessels. So it keeps them open, make sure that they open and close and do their things, because our, our blood vessels are constantly dilating, opening, constricting, closing. So they're constantly <laughs> doing that. Um, you know, it's a constant dance that our body does so that we don't feel anything when we move from position to position. Because mm -hmm. otherwise you get dizziness, vertigo, and it keeps the blood vessels open. You keep your blood vessels, the ability to open and close, that's when you're going to have a good healthy blood pressure. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you.